started writing Sex and the City in 1994, that really was my life. I was single, I was in my early 30s, all of my girlfriends were single, and it was the same thing with Lipstick Jungle. I kind of looked around and I thought, wait, all of my girlfriends from my Sex and the City days are now super successful. The story is just very compelling. It's women's friendships, it's women in the workplace, it's women in positions of power in the workplace, and how that has a ripple effect in the office, and it has a ripple effect at home. You can't hide. A true player responds to disaster as if nothing's happened. When they smell fear in this town, it's over. These women are ambitious, but most of all, they really believe in themselves. They believe in what they're doing, and they believe in their ability to make a contribution to the world. I would say Nico Riley is very blunt and to the point. There is no nonsense about her. I think you need someone with a vision. She says it like it is, and she hopes that everyone can kind of just deal with it. Kim is, in real life, the girl who you want to be best friends with because she's so cool. Women have got all these positions of power in the workplace. They're earning often more than their husbands or than their male colleagues. And there's still a sense of unease they have about it. She's always feeling like something, she's not doing her best and she continues to try and she always, she works very hard at taking care of everybody else. So I, uh, I understand that. <laughs> Brooke Shields, she has kids and she's had her ups and downs. So she brings all of that to the part of Wendy. I lost my virginity in moccasins. <laughs> you remember what shoes you wore? It was the most memorable part. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> and Lindsay is just absolutely adorable. So they've brought those qualities to the part and just made them such interesting characters. It was a delight to actually watch Lipstick Jungle and see the kind of issues that they were dealing with. These were more believable women. These it had a sense of humor. It was fun. It had the shoes. It had the really, really hot photographer. And um, I think that it was the obvious next step for Candace Bushnell to go in after Sex in the City. I went to an Oscar de la Renta fashion show. It was probably three years ago when I was working on the book. And he had these the women coming out in suits with little crop sleeves, and they had gloves. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if women were wearing that to their offices every day? It's so chic. I think it would be fantastic if people looked at it and saw something they never knew they could put together and wear to the office with confidence. I think women in power are bringing their sort of womanliness to it and, and now playing by their roles. Kim actually wore outfits that she wears in the show in our shoot and it was just what I was talking about, about bringing that soft side. Yes, yeah, she's in power. And yes, she can wear the typical suit, but she's also wearing these, you know, these great pieces of jewelry, these flowy blouses, because you can't be feminine and in charge at the same time. Because fashion is one of the areas that her magazine covers, we've we've tried to do it with really pretty power dresses. Lindsay Price, she works in an, a creative environment. She loves to play with accessories, and I think she's the character on the show who really gets to explore um, different hair accessories, different styles. With the character of Wendy, we tried to do those great pieces, you know, the great coat that goes over everything. We have her in jeans. She's got the great white shirt, and so she can mix and match. I really wanted all of them to look timeless, effortless, well-groomed, sophisticated, elegant, polished, 
And uh, even though each of them has their own individual style, um, I wanted that for all the women. I think that there's a lot of playfulness and latitude in the dresses. The reality is that successful women in New York do dress. I think pulling it together in the morning is really important, but you have to do it fast. In fact, I think you should think the night before, what do I have to do tomorrow? What do I have to look great for? So what I do is consider that a month before I get a great haircut, I know that I wash my hair a couple times a week. I do that the night before, I don't do it in the morning. And I make sure that when I condition my hair, I leave it in the least amount of time. Massage not the scalp, but the hair with the conditioner and rinse it very thoroughly. One great tip is to smooth the hair on top of the head at night with a loose ponytail and with a covered elastic. That'll keep your hair up and out of your way and help the hair have more body when you take it out in the morning. If you're blowing your own hair dry in the morning, one of the things to do is not to just start stretching the hair when it's sopping wet. One of the best things you can do is gently detangle the hair first. You put your head upside down and get about 50% of the water out and then section the hair with big plastic clips and bring a small amount of hair down at a time. When one section's dry, move on to the next. I think the Dove brand brings a wonderful heritage. Um, I think that they've done a great job with their products because they have formulated them specifically for different needs, sensitive hair, dry hair, frizzy hair, etc. They're incorporating serums, which is the hottest thing in skin care now, and also really moving ahead. Dove is right on top with that. Did you know 8 out of 10 women have damaged hair? Did you know New Dove can repair it? The New Dove therapy system is different because it contains a precious repairing serum. It repairs damage strand by strand and brings out the beauty in your hair every morning. Try the precious repairing serum in the New Dove therapy system. Goodbye damage. Good morning beautiful hair. Greece, like <laughs> like a, what's it, what's it, what's it, Sandy. Sandy. You look like a hot Sandy from Greece. High fashion style. High fashion Sandy. Nice. <laughs>